Hey guys, I'm Joe with Moto Strano, and I wanted to do a quick little video here regarding the 2016 Bosch e-bike motor system lineup uh, because uh, we are receiving a lot of phone conversations and chit chatter with uh, customers doing research on various websites from around the world and that is leading to a lot of misinformation and confusion about what is available here in the good old United States of America as regards uh, Bosch mid-drive e-bike system. So what I want to do is tell you and show you the motors and the batteries and everything and you can kind of get a better feel on what's legit information if you live and ride in the United States and you're shopping for a bike from High Bike or Felt or Cube or BH or Bulls or all the other brands that are using the Bosch motor system. Um, for 2016, there are currently three motors available to you. Um, they all have generally the same wattage and output. Um, they have various speeds um, and they all use the same battery. One of the main points of confusion right now is that on European websites and in Europe, you can purchase uh, the 500 watt hour battery, which looks just like this here, except that it's slightly larger and it's a 500 watt hour battery instead of a 400 watt hour battery, which is gonna obviously last a little bit longer and cost a little bit more. The United States does not get that battery. So any European websites that you're looking at and you wanna try to get a f something that says 500 on it, it's not gonna happen uh, until probably next year when the batteries get approved for use in, in the US. Now the other thing is that for 2015, pretty much this Bosch motor, this is the performance line motor, was what you saw on all Bosch e-bikes. And that's how it looks uh, when it's been de-skinned. Um, when it's in a bike, it looks just like this that you see on that uh, felt brew hall there. It's the felt performance line motor and it differs from the 2016 performance line CX motor uh, in uh, little but uh, actual torque. So I'm sure there's other stuff, but the main difference is the torque that the motor delivers. Uh, for off-road bikes, uh, a torqueier motor could be a good thing if you need a quick burst of power and turbo and stuff to get up uh, a climb, uh, you know, a steep incline. On the other hand, for touring and things like that, uh, or just general riding, the performance line is a great bike. Now, last year, all the bikes, all the off-road bikes too, had the performance line motor. To my mind, it's a perfectly fine motor. And in fact, the CX motor, though torquey, it also is more susceptible to wheel slippage when you're doing a climb. You can break the rear wheel and um, have no torque, so um, no power, put it that way. Um, so as far as what motor to get, you know, get the one you think you need. Do you have to have the CX motor because it's the latest and greatest on, on your, you know, bike that you're looking to buy? No, you don't. And not all the 2016 Bosch powered systems are going to have it. And in fact, there's smoking deals to be had on last year's e-bikes right now. If you check out our clearance website and those are all the performance line motor. Uh, next to it is this is an, uh, an active line motor. This is actually pulled off of an urban aero cargo bike, so it's not the current version of it, but the active line motor is sort of a scaled down um, towny kind of thing that uh, typically has a top speed of about 15 miles an hour. Um, it's a little bulkier and just a little more tame ride. We've got uh, some cube bikes right now that use it uh, for step throughs, you know. Uh, just town bikes, women's bikes, um, commuters, and things like that where speed isn't the greatest thing. It's just reliability and perhaps range. All of the Bosch e-bikes we found through actual testing and riding get up to 90 miles range. We swear by that. Uh, we ride them day in and day out. Um, great reliability on all the, all the systems. I highly recommend them. Just as a side note, um, here is something to compare uh, as well. We've got High Bike here with the new Yam Yamaha S Duro uh, mid drive motor and the Yamaha 400 watt hour battery. Uh, we're seeing a lot of good performance figures out of this system. Uh, it comes in at a lower price point than the Bosch um, 
and we like it. So it's also a great system to buy. The Bosch, uh, feedback we're getting on the Bosch is, is that it's better. Um, but you know, you make the call whether you want to spend the higher price point uh, and get that or not. Uh, they're all great systems. If we sell them, you can pretty much bet that it's something worth owning. And there you have it. Uh, feel free to give us a call if you have any more detailed questions or you can test anything we say or you have a motor drive system you're curious about. We're pretty familiar with all of them. Our service techs in our Redwood City and San Francisco store are all certified by Bosch. We've taken the motors in and out. We've installed things on them. We know how to upgrade them. We know how to install software. Uh, upgrades on them and give you also a printout of diagnostics using the Bosch software. It's all pretty basic, but most shops out there don't know how to do it or won't do it. So uh, visit us here at motostrano.com or at eBike Lane in San Francisco and uh, talk to you later.